This is three days since our Igwe got missing. This ugly development has thrown the entire kingdom into confusion and his family into sorrow. My elders, what do we do? Elders, no. Hmm. Ndichi, there is nothing to do now. Until those warriors that left in search of him returns. Solution. Mm -hmm. Yes, solution. One question keeps bothering me. How could the Igwe leave the four walls of this palace without informing anybody? No information, not even to the Queen as regards to his whereabouts. And he left the four walls of this palace without just one bodyguard, not one. If I back. There is more than meets the eye. There is no need for such questions now. The deed has been done. All we need now is solution to this problem. Kai well no coach me for that little bit. What is the situation? We found you guys. They go that to the Look at me in a boogie, Diana. Look at me in a boogie, Diana. I want you to lose a year. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. My fellow elders. Oh no, who? It's okay. This is no time for blames, but for solution. There must be a solution to this. Okay? Must Okuku kill each time he's angry? Huh? Okuku is a god, and the ways of the gods men cannot understand. However, Okuku does not care without a cause. No cause is worth taking a man's life. No cause. My son, the gods are wiser than you. I know. Stay away from the ways of the cross and eat your food. When you go, leave the cross alone. Um, elders, now that our people is what is our next line of action? It's your careful. Good question from you. My fellow elders, no, no, no. we have to send for his son the prince, the heir apparent to the throne, who is abroad. Because he must be present before we can commence with burial arrangements. Yes, that's true. That is true. In yeah. that case, let us send for him immediately. Yes. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. 
Princess. Wow, you look so beautiful. Oh. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. How? Oh, it came now. Yeah. Oh, my son, you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Come here, I miss you so much. Oh, I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, wow. You look big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> This is my friend Anderson. Oh, my son, how are you? Anderson, my mom. Oh, thank you. Come on, man. Come on, this is so beautiful, man. That's what's up, man. to Africa. What is this? Hello. Hey, you're yeah, welcome. You're welcome, welcome, my friend. Yeah. And I love Nigeria. Mom? Mm? Oh. Uh -huh. Wow. Where is she at? Oh, Adeze. Yeah. Adeze is in her room. Okay, I thought as much. Son, can you see how big you have grown? And no one will ever believe that I gave birth to you. Because we are almost at the same age. Oh, come on, mom. Don't forget I got I know the story. I know the story. That got married to you only at the age of 14 because you were the most beautiful girl that got him attracted on the Royal Queen's contest and you took him just a few months later. Hmm. I know that story. So far, I told you all this. <laughs> You're not just funny, but as memorable as your father. Uh, Mom, I mean, uh, where is the great Okemeli? I mean, I've been in the country for like three hours. And he's nowhere to be found and nobody's saying anything about it. Did he travel? I mean, he should know I'm back. I mean, he must be happy that I'm back. Okay, me. Mom? Mom? <laughs> Son. Your father passed on.
The dragon will return. You said what? Yes. The dragon I visited many times. Went back and returned. Yeah? I'll get it. What's up, dog? My prince and my elders. The dragon has returned. What? And the screen people near the Uji River. Oh. I told you, my prince. Oh. I said it. Where do I find the beast? Far away in Ndede Forest. The accessoire forest. That's where you get it. In that case, we attack it there. But I need someone to lead us. My prince, I'm sorry you cannot go. Says who? You cannot fight the dragon. See, you are the future king of this kingdom. We cannot risk you. And okay. that is the more reason I have to save my kingdom from this evil beast. My, my prince, uh, uh, Okuku is very powerful. Your father died eh, in this adventure. Uh, don't dare it. I, I, I suggest, my prince, that uh, let us appease Okuku. He will leave us alone. Eh? Let's appease it. Listen, old man. I am Iken, the son of Okemili. United States Marine. United States do not negotiate with terrorists. And I will not negotiate with your damn gods. Now listen. I am not my father. I am his son. And for the last time, I need a volunteer that will lead me to that forest. And you will! Get it, moi. My prince, I have a bad leg. We live tomorrow. Mm. Hey. Hey. Me? We live hey! Tomorrow. Hey! Hey, nah. Oh, oh no, who? Are you looking at me? Get out of here. What have I said wrong now? Uh, what did I say wrong? Hey! I, hey. hey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Please, I beg you, stay with us. Don't go. Please, save your life for us, please. Listen, Mom. We are United States Marine. And we are specially trained for this. I promise you, I will be back. Okay? <laughs> and little sis, it's okay, stop crying. I'll be back for you with the head of the dragon as a gift. And then I shall be crowned the king. Brother! Let's, let's go. Jogo, yeah, just like I requested, you look cute on your Biafran attire. Thank you. Come on, let's go play some game. Oh, oh no. Njoku, go. May the gods be with you. I think this is the end of the road. Uh, and there no other way? No, no, no. Uh, you see, this is the only road. And uh, you know, it cannot take this big car. So let us go. Meaning? Meaning? We will we, we go by foot. Shit! You never said this, old man. You never asked. Damn shit! What do we do now? No can do. We we'll go by feet. If that's the only choice. I want to save my people from this beast, so I don't fucking care what happens. You know how we roll? Yeah. So let's go kick some ass. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Njoku, I have a gift for you. Hey! <laughs> my friends! <laughs> this, this is a little gift from the US Marine. So you don't need this. Hey! Chalu! Ah! This is Ichi's cap. You have to respect it. But I don't want to fight the dragon. Hey. Let's go to war.
know what you are? You're a lazy man. Thank you, man. Thought you said you were a Biafran soldier. I put Biafra, leave Biafra out of this. I am tired. Uh, you know, bro, let him rest for a while, right? Come on, man, we'll have, we'll have no time. Bro, just let him rest for a while, right? He's an old man, can't you see that? Let's give him some energy. Called energy drink. You don't know what it is? Try it first. <laughs> you don't know what it is? Please try it. There you go. It will strengthen you up. Good? It's very good. Feels good? Mm. Yeah, I thought as much. Drink some more, it will help you. Okay. I please, I'm okay. I have energy now. <laughs> Bring it here. Yeah, you good? Yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> now you know what it takes to be a soldier. Yes. Now let's go. Aduba, let's go. Let's go. Did I hear you right? Are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Do I look like I'm choking? <laughs> Listen, old man, I didn't walk this far to come and look at a tree or a damn shrine. All I asked from you was to show me the beast. My, my prince, Okuku, the beast lives in there. Listen, can, can, can you hear this old fool? Bullshit. Listen, Njoku, it's impossible for dragons to live in a tree. Dragons live in a fucking rock for crying out loud. My prince, believe me, I am telling you the truth. Okuku lives in there. Mm. My prince, please, I want to ease myself. Njoku. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Don't do anything stupid. You have 60 seconds. Now go. 60 seconds? Mima Kamu, how do you watch out? What? What's keeping this old fool? I don't know, bro. Go look out for him. Hmm. What's up, Anderson? Where's the job? No way to be found. What do we do now? Time to play game, boy. Bring down the street. Ikena, son of Okemiri, why have you come to disturb me? Go home before I change my mind and kill you. Can you hear him? Nigga, you're going to talk in Africa? I can't believe it. Lies! We are the United States Marines and America do not make a shot with terrorists. Yeah. I am not here to make a shot with you. 
I told you to leave, but you are as stubborn as your father. I do not intend to shed the blood of a prince or any member of the royal household, except she that I so desire for a sacrifice. Now go, and never shall I see your face, or you will die. Yes, never. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. You mean you found him at the forest? Yes. But what is actually wrong with him? Hmm, Mama, I do not know. But with the help of this, he will recover soon and speak to us. Thank you. 
Who are you fellas? And, I mean, how did I get here? Relax, huh? Calm down, I will tell you. Relax. My name is Ikenga. I found you in the forest, lifeless. And I brought you down here to help you. Huh? And this is my mother. of Ndiago. Ndiago. Do you know my kingdom? Mother, anything, any problem? Mm. Are you sure? Okay. Listen guys, you guys need to help me get back home, okay? I don't know, my car is parked somewhere in the jungle, but you need to lead me back home. I understand, but you need to get some more rest. Huh? You need to get some rest. We will fix you something to eat. Uh, okay. Okay. After that, I believe you'll be strong enough for the journey. Alright, uh, so you're promising to show me my way back home? It started many years ago. Um, my, my fellow elders, it's been a long time since the morning period of the late Igwe past, yet our throne has remained vacant because of the law ahead between Atama here and Okemiri on who to assume the throne of Ndiago Kingdom. Now, what is our decision on this? According to the new tradition, the mantle of kingship now falls on Atama here, who is the only male child in our Bioha family. Liar! Liar! How much did Atama pay you? How much did Atama pay you to fabricate this story? How much did this thief pay you? Would you respect my elders? What okay me to mind is utterances. Or what will happen, Atama? Or what will happen? You are only a feeble he goat. I will beat you blue black with my fist, Atama. Okay, Miri. Real men do not show their valiance with physical strength but wisdom. Is this the way you will lead your people if you become the king? Watch your mouth, Atama. Watch your mouth before I shut it for you, coward. The throne is and remains mine by birthright, and not even the tradition. Now the custom can change that. Uh, Atama, can, watch can your lie. mouth. Atama, can, watch your mouth. Calm down the boat of you, okay? Must you put confusion each time we, we, we meet on this regard? Eh? Please. We should be more mature again. Yeah, one day. One Atama to stay off my clan or heaven will rule. Atama, heaven. And if Four. that happens, where will you hide? My elders, I will not stay here and table work with this feckless man. Do not waste their words, especially the ones with royal blood. Atama, do not cross my path. Do not cross my path, Atama. Stay off my path. Do not dare me, Atama. Prince, okay, me. Uh, okay, are, are you walking out? Prince! Are you walking out on the elders? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, calm down. Um, You're welcome, my prince. Thank you. I, I hope I didn't keep you waiting, Chido. Not at all, not at all. I want you to remain on my side. In this contest, um, but, but, but my no, prince, no but, it's your dog. Here, here, here is a sum of ten thousand naira. Yes, for your out. All this for me, me. Yes, and more to come. And with this, my prince, I assure you, you are already on the throne. <laughs> Um, your words are suiting to the soul. Mm. I'll be on my way now.
What is it? I had a bad dream. You and dreams. Let's continue our sleep. My husband, you have to give up your fight for the throne, please. How could you say a thing like that? Yes. Your brother Okemiri is evil. He will do everything possible to stop you. Please, my husband. I don't want to lose you. Please. Just give up the throne. Please. Obi, I'm not surprised at your judgment. Because women are known for fear. But let me promise you one thing. Nothing will happen to me. Obi, it is not as if I'm too desperate or ambitious of becoming the king. What you have to understand is that I must protect our tradition. I must protect the throne from that brat. That proud and arrogant brat who can me. I know. Obi, I know. But I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Please give up the throne. Please. You don't have to be scared. See, very soon everything will be over. I will be crowned the king and you the queen and the prince of our land. Let's go to bed. Let's go back to sleep. Look, look, Prince Okemir. Look! If you think you can stop me on my way to bribe me, you are making the worst mistake. I shall stand on the side of truth and justice. No amount of treasure can change the decision of our gods. I repeat, no amount of treasure can change the decision of our gods. We shall see you stubborn old fool. We shall see. Mm. We shall see. Um, uh, you see, um, all I'm saying is that customs and traditions are man-made decisions approved by the gods. Our ancestors have created these customs and traditions for us to follow, which I believe they did not even abide to. So if we critically analyze this custom and tradition, and we see that it is not to the best of our interest, we can either amend it or better still, we retain the one that we already have. After all, the gods will still approve it. Ta, Meshano Odogu! Odogu Meshano! How dare you utter such blasphemy? Eh? Do you want to invoke the wrath of the gods? And who are you to decide what will invoke the wrath of the gods or not? Odogu, wash your mouth! Elders of Ondago, they are not a member of the lawyer cabinet, but as an elder, I still believe that Atama is the rightful heir to our throne because Prince Okemiri is arrogant and our new tradition is sure and the best. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you are the best? Are you sure you are the best? you against truth and justice of our gods. But I will never be part of it. Never! Whether you people like it or not, Okay, Miri is going to be on that throne. Odogu, wash your mouth! Oh. Odogu, wash your mouth! Odogu! Njoku has finally made things very difficult for me. I am afraid he has succeeded in turning the minds of the members of the royal cabinet against me, Okay, Miri. I, I do not want to lose the throne, Njoku. I do not want to lose that throne, Atakatabo. I need your help. I promise to reward you immensely. <laughs> you have nothing to worry. Nguku, our God, is a merciful God. He will help you as long as you reward me immensely. <laughs> I, I promise to reward you beyond your imagination. Um, thank you once again. I mean, your words uh, have given me reason to smile. Yeah. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Obi, mm -hmm. do you like the food? Deli. It's delicious. Delicious. Let me give you. 
<laughs> but we bring the food. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not hungry. Hey, the food is for you. I'm not hungry. You're not hungry. It's not for you. For him. Mm. Obi, mm. you only say he. How do you know he's a boy? I'm very certain. My instincts don't fail me. Okay, let's wait and see how genuine your instincts is. size of his horn that rose a battle challenge to the leopard. Atama, you are the foolish one. By contesting for that throne with I, Okimu, the son of the late Abogidi, the greatest king of Tiago. Atama! 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 It is only a foolish ram that is blinded by pride its huge size of horn throws a battle challenge to the leopard. Atama, you are the foolish one. By contesting for that throne with I, Okimu, the son of late Abogidi, the greatest king of Ndiago. Today, Atama, die like the stupid and foolish ram that you are. You must die. <coughs> Come and take water, take water. Take water. Take water. Take water. like someone whose neck is in pain. I tried to ask him what was wrong. But before he could speak a word, he started spitting foam from his mouth. That is strange. Very, very strange. This woman is a liar. She's not saying the truth. It's obvious her, our brother Atama died from food poisoning. Or how can you explain that our brother was eaten and all of a sudden died with foam coming out of his mouth? Let her say the truth. My prince, are you trying to say that I killed my husband? A man I love from the depth of my heart. Stop pretending, woman. Stop pretending and tell the elders the truth. Elders. My prince. Do not be deceived by her. Fake tears are crocodile tears. This woman is evil. Uh -huh. My elders. You see, what I don't understand is, 
How can she possibly kill her own husband? Is that possible? Odogu, that is not the point here. That is not the point at all. Her reason for committing that atrocity is not important. What is important is to see that she pays for her sin. Yeah. She should pay for her sin. Right. Are you trying to say that you believe him? Of course I do. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You see, there is no point for, for necessary arguments and, and chaosity. Eh? Let us send for the Eze more immediately. I'm sure he will tell us what to do. Yes. Very Let well us then. send for him. It's okay. Hey, madam, stop your crocodile tears. Stop your crocodile tears here. Okay? Rather than ridicule yourself, the bone and the cross and the ago. I am innocent. Ungoku will decide. Yes. Step on the mat of justice and prove your innocence. My husband. I poisoned his food. I said it. This woman is evil. This woman is evil. I said it. People of Fundiago. You have seen what you seek for. This woman will be banished to Ide Forest, where she will have no association from people of Fundiago. That is the voice of the gods. The gods have spoken. Thank you very much, Atakatabo. Everything went as planned. 
I told you not to worry. By now, she be wallowing in agonies in the ancestral forest. And for my rival, <laughs> his body was so rot in the soil. And no one, no one will stand on my path to the throne. <laughs> Thank you once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> no one is greater than my God. Um, my fellow elders, now that Atama is dead and the dispute is over, I think it's high time we crown a new king. Because we cannot continue to have our throne vacant. And from the look of things, it is so clear that Okemiri is the chosen one. And so we should go ahead and crown him as the king. I disagree with you. I disagree with you people. Look, despite the fact that Atama is dead, we still have to look into our traditions. Yes, yes. we must look into our traditions. Yes. There is no more deliberation on this matter. Okay, Miri. It's the next way of Fundiago. The gods have spoken. And the words of the gods. My king. That was how Okay, Miri and Atakatabo got fired. To give the crown of Ndiago to Okemiri illegally. Though the gods got angry and struck my predecessors to death, their anger has remained unappeasable for Ndiago because of that atrocity. We all know things were bad at the inspection of Okemiri today because he was hated by the people of Ndiago. Because of his arrogance and tyranny, he was afraid he may lose his glory as a king. So he consulted Okuku, the great god, to help him. He begged Okuku to make him powerful. Okuku made him the most powerful king of our time. But Okuku asked for a price which he couldn't pay. Okuku asked him to bring his daughter, Adeze, as sacrifice, but he refused, and that is why Okuku is angry with Ndiago, and Nguku, our god, is also angry with Ndiago for Okeme illegally, and Nguku, our god, is also angry with Ndiago over Okeme illegally. So what do we do? And how do we escape the wrath of Okuku? There is only one way to appease Okuku. Only one way to find the right king of Ndiago. Okuku made a covenant with him. And by the bond of that covenant, only him will Okuku listen to. And only him is worthy to sit on the throne of Ndiago to fulfill the destiny the gods prepared for his father. That is the only way the gods will return their favor to Ndiago and peace will once again reign. Wise one, how do you find him? In the faraway forest. Though my veins are very weak from old age, but I will journey with you. When he is found, your problems will be over. Okay. We will leave tomorrow.
young man. Very nice to meet you here. Greetings, elders. Who are you and what are you doing in the middle of the forest? We came from the faraway land of Ndiago and we are looking for a certain young man who lives in this forest with his old mother. Well, no one else lives here except my mother and I and of course many wild animals. Wait, what is the name of your mother? Why do you ask? Uh, please, my son, it's very important that you tell us. Our kingdom will be in great danger if we don't find him. It's usually not in my habit to speak to strangers. But for the respect I have for elders, and from the way you look, seems what you seek is of great importance. My mother's name is Adugo. Huh? In that case, you are the man we are looking for. Why me? My son, it's a long story. Please, can you give us some water to quench our thirst? Then we can sit down and talk. That was how it all happened. Mother, is it true? Their story, is it true? Is it true that my father was supposed to be the king and he was killed? And I am from Diago and I am the heir to their throne, is it true? You must believe me, my son. For I speak not from my knowledge, but that of the gods. You must also help us to talk to Kuki to stop this bloodshed. Well, I do not believe you, old man. Only one person can confirm your story. That person is my mother. I ask you again, mother. Is it true? Son, what is speak is true. Really? I was just into this forest where I labored and suffered alone until I met a kind hunter, Onyoma, who was living here. He accommodated me. Who later died. That was how I inherited this hut from him. I lived all alone in this forest. Suffered all alone. The God of the Wings. He puts his eyes over seeing this forest. Helpless and wounded I am. A poor pregnant widow. Because his people rejected and abandoned for a crime she did not commit. To your grace and mercy, oh great Okuku, they have survived in the jungle, not showing the fruit of my womb. For me, oh my child, so I dedicate him to you today. I did not know if I would live to see his innocent face, but I would die in labor. Please, great Okuko, please see me to delivery. Protect him as your own. I 
I have heard you woman. No harm shall come to you nor your child. I shall make him my own. His voice I shall hear, and through his eyes I shall see. This is my covenant with him. Hmm, I saw. That was how I dedicated you to Okoko. I never wanted to tell you who you were. But the right time. And the right time now is now my son. It is why. It's only your voice that you can hear. Can you not save your people from destruction, your majesty? Great Okoko, great one, I, I beg you, spare their lives. They come in peace. Why do you wish to save them? Have I cursed their people? Well, because life is precious. Not the lives of those who inflicted pain on you and your mother. Great Okoko, it wasn't their fault. Okay, Mary should take the blame. It wasn't their fault at all. They are my people. Oh, you already know this story. Yes, I know the story. He told me everything. I will spare the lives of these three, according to your request. But the rest of the inhabitants of India will feel my wrath. I have been very patient with them because each time I strike, he pacifies my anger with his sacrifice. But this time around, I will show no mercy. Hey, great Okoko, great one, please. It is me, huh? It is me, I am begging you. Do not harm anyone anymore, Biko. Death is the price of my cause. I have cursed Indiago, and they will pay with their blood. He is going to attack. We must go. I summoned you all to pick a date for my coronation ceremony. With due respect, my prince, the gods have chosen the heir to the throne. You cannot be crowned anymore. Yes. How dare you speak such blasphemy, old man? And by the way, who do you talk? has to be the chosen one. He is the chosen one. What a conspiracy. Not at all. And who are you, old man? I am Otruko, the chief priest of Unguku, of Ndiago, the eye and the mouthpiece of the gods. To hell with you, Otruko. To hell with you and your gods. I know him. You are the jungle boy.
So no, you are telling me the gods chose this jungle fellow to me, United States Marine. Exactly. You know what? You are fools. Mm -hmm. To hell with you people. To hell with all of you. You know what? You are just a bunch of criminals, conspirators and liars. But I tell you all, this throne belongs to me and no one else. You lie! You lie! You know what, Jungle Fellow? I was kind of liking you, but you are getting on my nerves. <clears throat> this is the choice of the gods, not man. I pray you let us respect the choice of the gods and save our people from this calamity. I can see you're just being stubborn. But I tell you, I will send you to hell. Just wait and see. Especially you know you all are a bunch of monkeys. Why don't they friends? Let the will of God have a seize this place. Bloody go nigga. Okay? No more bloodshed. Take me instead. Kill me. Take my life. Spill my blood. Please! I hate to see your tears. And the taste of your blood is like sad wine. For you are a part of me. I can see how heavy your heart is. That you shed tears. I swear by our covenant that I shall not make you cry anymore. I will make you the greatest of all kings that has thread the surface of the earth. Yet without a price, your people shall become my own, and their blood as sacred as yours, that I must never feed on. I shall not return to Indiago, neither will my wrath. I thirsted for her blood, but now I know her destiny. You will work through the passage of royalty with her, her palm glued to yours, her breath close to yours, for she is a part of your destiny, the one you shall call your queen. Good luck, Ikenga. Good luck, son of a koko, son of a god. I am with you always, even when I'm gone. Farewell, king of Ndiagun. Ngogu, your god is with you. Son of late Atama, for the gods have favored. I know you. You're the kind hunter that saved my life in the jungle. And I remember yours too, the vulnerable princess of Mbiako. The gods have favored you. Really? Well, I guess you are the favored one. Thank you. Our people. Thanks for saving my people. He is 
is the chosen one, the new king of Ndiazo. Today will remain a memorable day in my life. Um, the day I was crowned king. King of this great community. It's, it's uh, words fail me. And I, before I, I go on, let me appeal to all of you here. Remember that I am new. <coughs> you know, I am new in this. Just a few days ago, I was the hunter in the forest. <laughs> Today I'm seated here, the king of this great land. I am grateful to all of you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, let me recognize the presence of my mother. Thank you very much. Thank you. She, she has been with me through thick and thin. And today, this is, look where we are. Um, I also want to recognize the presence of my wife, um, the new queen of this land. <laughs> new queen. No, no. Yes. Uh, let, let me also recognize the presence of the Queen Mother. Thank you. Mother. <laughs> uh, and of course, um, the Onohu. Your Majesty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, elders, elders of our great community. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, not yeah. forgetting uh, our Chief Priest, Ezemo Hogu. <laughs> yes, um, like I said um, when I started, I promised to lead with so much wisdom. Um, I am new in this, so I will always consult you people and I need your support. I cannot do this anymore. Stand with me. Let us bring back peace, progress and unity and happiness to this great kingdom. Thank you. Sick of